you've received your Creo 8432 WDT. So what's next? We know it can sometimes be intimidating to get started. That's why in this video, we'll take you from unboxing to first print. But first, let's get familiar with your new Creo 8432 WDT. In this video, we'll show you how to remove your printer from the box. Next, we'll open the printer, remove the plastic tabs, and install the toners and activate the image drums. Then, we'll power up the printer, install the driver and rip software, load paper, so you can get started with your new Creo 8432 WDT. Remember, if you have any questions or need help, Creo has excellent support and a lot of resources on their support website, mycreo.com to assist. Now, let's get your Creo 8432 WDT up and running. Selecting the correct space and environment is an important step in successfully printing from the Creo 8432 WDT. Ideal temperatures should be between 62 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit with 20 to 80% relative humidity. If you find humidity an issue, a simple inexpensive solution is to add a humidifier to the workspace. For the space, you'll need 24 inches behind the printer and 39 inches in front with about eight inches on both sides for proper ventilation. Let's walk through opening the box. Remove the four white handles from the box and gently lift the top of the box up. Be careful here. The toners do not come in the printer, so make sure to lift gently so you don't damage the toners. Set the toners in the styrofoam holder aside. Remove the remainder of styrofoam. Lift the printer out of the box. It's recommended to have a helper for this step as the printer weighs about 80 pounds. Now that you have successfully removed your Creo from the box, let's move into the important steps. Open the top of the printer by pressing on the lever on the front right side of the printer and the gray button on the upper right of the printer. Never touch the LED print heads on the inside of the printer with your bare hands. The oil from your fingers can clog the microscopic holes in the head and affect image quality. Lift up each image drum out of the printer and peel away the orange tape and plastic wrap. Set the drum back into the printer and remove the orange brace by pulling on the orange tab on the side and gently remove the orange brace from the drum and discard. Grab the corresponding toner cartridge and shake it about five times while holding it flat to even out the toner level, then pull off the tape on the bottom of the toner cartridge. Bring the cartridge into the drum at an angle and slide so that the arm of the image drum fits inside the toner and set the toner all the way in. Lock the toner in by pushing forward on the blue tab on the right side of the toner. Repeat these steps for each toner and drum. Before closing the printer, remove the fuser to be sure there is no protective material on it. To remove the fuser, pull the blue tab towards you and lift the fuser out. 
Be sure there are no braces or packing material on the fuser and replace. Lock the fuser back in place by pushing the blue lever back. Close the top of the printer after inserting the toners and plug your printer into a wall outlet. Push the power button on the bottom left of the front panel to turn on your printer. Go on your computer and open a web browser to mycreo.com slash downloads. Be sure to have the printer off and not connected to the computer. Select the Creo 8432 WDT printer. Download the driver and run the driver installation tool. Select your language and click OK. Agree to the license agreement and the installation wizard will open. Click Next. Select Easy Installation, Local. The installation will begin and when prompted, connect your USB cord to the printer and power on the unit. Once you see the screen indicating your installation is complete, click Finish and the driver is now installed for your printer. Go back to mycreo.com slash downloads on your computer. Find the 8432 WDT RIP software download and click to download it. Download the software and open it to run the installation wizard. When prompted, select Digital Factory V10 Toner Transfer Edition and click Next. Click Start, select your language, and click OK. On the next page, choose the 64-bit Windows application and click Next. On the next page, accept the terms of the license agreement and click Next. When prompted, select Full Install of Digital Factory V10 Toner Transfer Edition and click Next. On the next two screens, click Next to continue. When the Install Shield Wizard is complete, click Finish. When prompted, select Enter Activation Code. Fill in the following form with the activation code provided with your printer and other required information. The activation code can be found on a sticker on the side of the printer and on the digital factory flyer inserted in your documentation that came with your printer. Click Register My Product. Once activated, you will need to reopen the RIP software. A first time setup prompt will show up. Click OK, leaving settings as they are. When prompted, click Next to set up your local production queue. Be sure to have your printer on and connected to your computer with a USB cord. Click Install Printer, then select the Creo 8432 WDT and click OK. Be sure that Search for new printer packages from DVD or cloud server is checked, as well as Search cloud server for printer packages. Click Next. Once the device package update is complete, click Next. On the Printer Port Setup page, click the dropdown, Find and select 8432 WDT Printer. Click Next. Once it's indicated that the driver package was successfully installed, click Finish. Your RIP software is now installed and activated and ready to use. We will be loading copy paper. Once the paper is in the multi-purpose tray, adjust the guides to fit the paper and put the gray tab down again. Now that your printer is set up, there's only one thing left to do, and that is to register your printer using the Creo Remote Support Tablet provided with your printer. Once registered, you're ready to unleash your creativity with your new Creo 8432 WDT. If you have any questions that weren't answered here, check out our other videos or use your remote support tablet.